we're back on the bench the new bench everybody it's here it's finally done I'm to the point where I'm happy with it that I'm gonna start actually being productive and doing some work getting some radios done because this took about oh I don't know a week to get together and I thought it was gonna take about three hours so yeah big time big time project uh, you guys have no idea but let's take a tour here we'll go over some upgrades go over some changes and show you how everything's set up and then this way from every video from here on out everybody will have an understanding of the bench and how it's set up how it operates where each cable goes and how I operate my bench basically so let me get this off the tripod and we'll go around or um, you know what actually let me zoom it in here a little bit on my stand I got like a makeshift stand here so I think if I do it like this all right so let's go piece by piece we'll start all the way over here so this is basically where I do my I'm gonna be doing my shipping out of here there's my scale got a label maker uh, I would like to upgrade that. Next we have the power supply, the Astron. That's from the old bench. You guys are familiar with that. That's a 50 amp power supply with a variable for amps, variable for volts. These are some extra uh, power wires, cables that I keep around for hooking different things up. Next we have storage. This is a tin that I like to use for when I, uh, I'm working on a radio. I just put like, if I'm doing a recap and a bunch of parts and stuff, I'll just put them in here. I'll put this next to the radio, like so, and then all the parts and everything go in there. It's just a little tin. Right now I just have some crap in there. Next up we have the B&K power supply. This is a regulated variable I like this for if I know I have a short or if I need to inject voltage because this can go all the way down in voltage and it has the current limiting. It also has a 5 volt output on the front. I mean this is, you guys have seen this before but just going over it quick. This is my old pyramid supply. It's just good for having around as an extra little supply. That's only a little uh, 7 or 5 amp slash 7 amp for uh, surge. We'll go up here a little bit. So here is our 10 megahertz reference. That's the GPS discipline oscillator. So the whole bench is run off the discipline oscillator. So it goes to my communications test set. It goes to my signal generator. So that's always on frequency. It goes to my, or I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'll show you what else it goes to. So next up we have the scope, same setup as last bench guys, scope, RF signal generator, and the CMU 200. Okay, next we have the bird. And if you notice, we have a little new addition over there on the side. I got a bird RF sampler because I am going to be testing some higher powered higher powered stuff which does happen occasionally and what I'm going to do is just tap off that into the spectrum analyzer and I'm going to use that for the higher powered stuff when that happens so what I can do is go in through here adjust the attenuation so that um, everything will be matched up I'll do that when the time comes but yeah so I got a bird sampler, that's new. Same bird meter. Got my little Aries meter here. That's handy for doing, keeping track of SWR. Also, I'm, I want to put it in line just to have a digital meter. Just to have another meter in line. It can't hurt. But then we got our function generator, waveform generator. We have the soldering station from the old bench that's always what I use it wasn't really in screen but it was over to the side you didn't really see it up here we have the frequency counter that runs off the 10 megahertz reference so basically when you see this here 
see that's lit up, that arrow, I don't know if you see it. So that means it's running off an, exter an external reference, even though that does have the OCXO built into it as well. So it's got actually an OCXO of an ice crystal oscillator, plus it has the disciplined uh, oscillator going into it. This is my older multimeter that I don't use anymore, but it's a backup. Like I always say, it's good to have multiples of things when you're doing this as a business. This is really cool guys, this is a new HACO or HACO depending on how you say it. It is a FX100 and it is actually an RF induction heating soldering station. So I got this for mainly because for micro soldering. So this has a pencil instead of a soldering iron, it has a soldering pencil. It has a bunch of different tips you could change out. they're like this. This is how the tips are. They're quick change. Get every next tip if you need it. Push it all the way in, you're good to go. And what's really cool about this is, check this out. So when I turn this on, you're going to see a graph. It's going to say hello, it's going to show what it is, and then you're going to see a bar graph. When the bar graph goes down to flat, it's heated up all the way. Watch how fast this thing is. You see the bar graph, it's at three, and it drops, it's flat, it's heated up. Full temperature, that was like what, one second? It goes to full temperature in about a second, two seconds. So that's really cool, kinda pumped about that. Uh, next up is the FLIR multimeter. Nice multimeter, if somebody is looking for one. I believe I got that from Test Equipment Depot possibly. But yeah, that's a nice handy multimeter. Um, this is my, these are my alignment tools, tune-up tools, fiddle sticks, diddle sticks, whatever you want to call them. This is my, let me go around the other side here. This is my new uh, Loctite that I like to use. Well, it's not Loctite, but it's like a Loctite. It's just a different brand that I've been using. It's actually by Bob Smith Industries. It's a thread locker. That's the word, the, term I was looking for. It's a thread locker, not a Loctite. And it is medium strength, and this is what I like to use, guys. So, Next up, we have the Heiko desoldering gun. Great, great investment, great tool. If you ever do any kind of recapping or radio work, these things speed everything up big time. Which, actually, this is my second one first one I dropped and it didn't work after that and I went out and bought another one in a heartbeat because that's how good they are so next up we have the microscope for our micro soldering yes we will be doing full scale micro soldering on the bench all the president radios striker radios stuff like that new unit ins they are doing which I actually did start some micro soldering already show you guys a little sneak peek here at something. I'm getting off track here, but you guys can see what's hidden in here. We have an MD1 and a President Richard. Okay. So that's little experiment I was doing and I got it to work. So after the microscope, because you will not be able to see what you're doing if you're working on a president radio with components such as 0603s, 0402s, just way too small. Hot air station right here and the reason um, that's an extronic, the reason I went with that is because they have a three year warranty I'm sure they're probably a knockoff of Chinese or something, but it says USA, Extronic USA, and they supposedly have good customer service. If things break, um, if you need warranty work, stuff like that, they're supposed to be good, and it's three years covered, so that's why I was kind of, I, I went with that for, for kind of those reasons. And then we just have a little uh, vice on the bench here, right there. And over in the corner, if you could see, 
right there is my coax coming in from the antenna outside I had to rewire that to come into this room but I'll show you whoops and then up top here we have the we have one of the bench radios we have a power supply we have our antenna analyzer a spare dummy load we have our external speaker that's where the sound will be coming out of Let's get this out of the way here oh. but I gotta tie that light cord up okay so next up here we have the antenna switch from the last bench this here is what I built for monitoring voltage and amperage it's got two uh, I salvaged these from an old power supply it's got two lugs here I take my power cord to show you and then I just hook it and I just run it right to the radio like so and then I can monitor everything right there and it is adjusted by the Astron. The Astron runs to this. So, whoops, made the camera go too fast there. But yeah, that's how that works. Da, 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 da. Up here we got storage, we got the spare bird meter. We got, uh, let, me, let me get this up a little higher. Yeah, so all my parts bin, storage. Extra cables, extra frequency counter. Like I said, you gotta have doubles, multiples of everything. We got our um, uh, what am I looking for? It's, uh, oh my gosh, coax, coax crimper, hole punch, parts. These are all parts. Power cords, microphones. Um, what am I looking for? Components. Stuff like that. Some shipping stuff up here and some radios I have. So that is that. I think that just about covers it. I got a light here that can go on and off. I got a light here. I want to get another light for over there. This is the bench radio, of course, you guys know. But yeah, I want to get a light for under there. And what else did I miss? Did I get everything? Yeah, more parts back there, parts storage. Okay, I think I got everything. So, I'm happy with it. It's a nice big bench. And I'm hoping to be able to do a lot of nice work for everyone on here. One of the things I want to touch on is the mail-ins, uh, no mail-ins right now, no mail-ins for a little while till at least the middle of August. I am going to be going on vacation next week, so starting actually Sunday. Starting this Sunday I'll be on vacation until the way it looks right now, Thursday of next week. Another thing, I also have a power supply coming, which actually, yeah, that's what this one box is. I'm saying it's parts, but see that box up there? That's actually a 100 amp mean well variable power supply that I'm going to actually run the bench off of, and then the Astron is going to get kind of put as a back up because with the amps I'm getting more and more amps in here I want to be able to have plenty of juice plenty of power to run them so I'm going to be running the bench off a 100 amp power supply which will then go to my my box up there and what else did I want to say I have the giveaway coming up we're almost at 2,000 subscribers I'm not sure what it's going to be yet if you guys have some suggestions or something let me know but obviously I'll, I'm going to do something and then one other thing is I got word today that Connex Connex is coming out with a new radio my distributor got in touch with me asked me if I wanted to try one out they our guests are called a Connex 46 yes the 4600 I yeah, the 4600s have been out before, but this is a new version. I guess it's called like the N1 or something. 4600 N1, I think, is what he said. 
and it's got a built-in amp. So I want to get that. I'm going to get that on the bench when, I, when it comes in, and then I'm going to test that out, and then that'll go for sale, of course. And I think that's it, guys. So I'm going to finish up this Richard. Okay. Like I said, I did a little experimenting with that the other night when I got this up and running. It was kind of the christening of the bench with this Richard here. And I was successful in getting an MD1 installed, so which I don't think anybody's done yet, just because of the complexity of the soldering that needs to take place. So that's going to be next. Then I got to go on to a Lincoln 2. Then after that, I'm not sure. And I'm hoping to get, yeah, the two presidents done and hopefully a couple others before I have to go away. And then, like I said, when I come back next week, end of next week, I'm actually going to be doing this full time. So I'm hoping to really, really clear up a lot of stuff, plow through a lot of stuff. Yeah, I wish I had another light over there on this side. It's very dimly lit. But I'm going to be doing a, a lot of stuff, guys. So definitely stay tuned subscribe if you haven't ring the notification bell i think that's what they say i'm just trying to cover all my bases here and thank you everybody for sticking with me and allowing me to do this upgrade and i'd always like to put stuff back into the business and that's what i you know this is a full-fledged radio repair shop m modifications sales trades all everything so you know anything anything I can do I'll try to do for everyone and if you've seen my videos you know the kind of work I do you know it's clean work that is what I strive for and Hopefully, we just keep on growing from here. So I'm going to quit rambling on here. Hopefully I didn't mumble up too much in my words and explaining everything. I'm not the greatest public speaker, you could say, which I, I consider this kind of public speaking because I am talking to people, even though nobody's here. But... Thank you uh, for working with me, and leave a comment, guys. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions? I think I got everything pretty much that I need, and the only other thing maybe I would do is I'd get a, I'd get a backup spectrum analyzer, and I'd put it like over here, really, because everything else I got pretty much doubles of, and that'd be probably the only thing that I might consider getting, and oh, I would like to get a different base radio for the bench so I'm thinking about doing that we'll see we'll see what happens all right appreciate it guys if you made it this far I know a lot of people have been waiting for this video and for me to get back on on track here so like I said gonna do the trip get back from that then we'll hit it hardcore so the radio garage we are off the key